All praises to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Wawakakodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel, including you women, to the dead in Yahweh Shai also. The water to Yahweh Shai, because without him enduring and going to that cross for the nation of Israel, none of this would even be possible. So, you still have Israelites. And I'm speaking of men who have been in this truth even longer than I have. Okay? But you still have Israelites who believe this thing that we're involved in is all about looking like your typical so-called Negro. Primarily. But then with that, they'll still say, oh, well, the Mexicans are Issachar. Okay? They'll tell you how Reuben... They're the Seminole Indians, okay? They'll tell you how, oh, if you're a, uh, a Guatemalan, you're from the tribe of Zebulon. Or if if you're a, um, a, a Colombian, you're an Asherite. But then they'll rebuke somebody based off of them not looking like your typical Negro, Latino, or Native American as well. Israel looks like all nations. So what I'm going to do with this video, I just want to bring out some celebrities who actually look like Edomites, but they're actually indeed Israelites, just to show you how spiritual it goes. You cannot judge by outer appearance. That is a carnal mind. You cannot be carnal. It doesn't take three four generations before an israelite looks like another nation okay an israelite man could pop a woman of another nation and that child instantly comes out looking like that other nation and i'm going to show you so the first example i want to use she's actually a, a, a tennis player okay so i'm gonna type her name in before i say it Now this woman right here, Gabriel Reese, what does she look like to you? She looks like just a common Edomite woman, right? She looks like a, a Karen, so to speak. But her dad was actually an Israelite, okay? He was a uh, so-called Trinidadian. And I believe he had died when she was five years old. So she didn't really know the man. But seeing that her dad was a so-called black man, you looking at her, imagine her being with an Israelite. Uh-uh, you with the devil. Imagine her coming up to a camp who are ignorant to this matter, asking what they're talking about, and they rebuke her saying she's going into slavery. And here it is, her father was an Israelite. Okay? So her name is Gabriel Reese. So this is one example of what the scripture calls confusion of face. So now let's go to another example here. This man right here. Looks like an Edomite. Okay? But his mother had told him that his father was a so-called black man. So this man would actually be a Judite. <laughs> and I know this, this video is going to make a lot of your heads pop off, man. But it's, it's simple. You know, and we'll just go into a few scriptures after I show... Uh, some examples, some brief examples. All right, but this man here is indeed an Israelite. Okay? So now, I'm going to show you a female. Another female.
Now her here, if you look at her, she almost looks like, you know, she could be Sicilian. She has that 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 kind of light natural tan look to her. Okay? But she could pass for an Edomite woman. Right? She could pass for an Edomite woman. But her father, she came from the line of an Israelite. Okay, her father was a so-called black man. And you still have Israelites, they can't wrap their head around how you could look like another nation. As if it has to just uh, be written down on paper, explain in a, in a, in a six-hour class before they can kind of get it, man. Like, it's, it's, it's easy to understand. Okay? Now here, I typed this in earlier. Gabriel Reese's dad is black. Because I know some of you may not believe that, but... It says, Reese was born... In La Jolla, California, and raised in St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands, an only child of Terry Glenn and Robert Eduardo Reese. Her father, who was Trinidadian, was killed in a plane crash when Gabriel was five. All right, so I just wanted to highlight that for a second. Okay. Well, let's go to another example. A female... In fact, um, when you look at a lot of these examples, honestly, if you didn't know, you could say, eh, she's a heathen. She could almost pass for a straight up so-called white woman, right? But she has that natural tan look to her, like that Sicilian skin tone okay which shows you a lot of them are Israelites too but her father so called Negro okay but when you're carnal you judge a book by its cover he's a popular celebrity you know a lot of people have heard of the next one But Vin Diesel, his father, so-called black man, another Israelite, who can pass as a man of another nation. Okay? So, showing these examples should just help give you a brief idea of how easy it is to get our people confused with these other nations but I'm not done yet all right let's go to someone else cash Warren click on this picture now cash Warren he's the son of Michael Warren a so-called black man so he Another Israelite, as you will call confusion of face, man. Okay? You know, I'm keeping this simple as possible. Why, why make it complicated if it doesn't need to be? Okay? Martin Gore could pass for an Edomite, right? He is an Israelite. Father so-called Negro okay check that out give you another one and I'm gonna get out some scriptures man because this isn't hard to understand Rashida Jones daughter of Quincy Jones and you should know who Quincy Jones is. 
she could pass for a straight up so-called white woman. But she is indeed an Israelite. In fact, I believe her to be of the tribe of Judah. Check that out. See, that's how spiritual this is, man. A lot of you Israelites got to get off this. You, you got so-called white men in your camps. How you going to let Esau go out there and teach with y'all? You don't know what the hell you're talking about, man. Okay? But as Jake liked to do, they complicate things. I'll give you one more example. We're going to get some scriptures, man. Because I just gave over five examples. Now, this man here, he could pass for a so-called white man. But, father, so-called Negro. All right? But he could pass for an Edomite. So, imagine... All of these uh, different pictures, right? And I'm, I'm talking for the men now. Okay? So when you look at him, when you look at Wentworth, okay, when you look at Martin Gore, if you was to look at uh, Michael Fosberg, Vin Diesel, imagine each one of them got with Edomite women, had, had males, who came out also looking like Edomites. They got older. Got with Edomite women. They're going to look like straight, solid devils. You're going to look at them. Oh, you the devil. <laughs> I mean, that's how easy it is to get confused, man. That's why the scripture says, We got to wait on Yahweh by Shem Shai. Because you have our people among these nations. If you look at wheat and tear, they look just alike. So some of our people may be confused as another nation. Okay? But that's why, you know, we stress what we're involved in is spiritual. This isn't carnal, man. Because of you being carnal in this truth, that being your main drive, you're not going to get very far. You're going to crash and burn. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 13. Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth. Now, man's wisdom teaches you, you, you look at somebody's outer appearance, you can tell what race they are. Okay? You got Israelites, they see Israelites like these, and they don't even claim them as their own people. Okay? Call them Oreos, or they, they halves. Really, there ain't no half, man. Okay? An Israelite's an Israelite, a heathen's a heathen. Which thing also we speak not in the in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, because a natural man looks on the outer appearance. Okay? When you had the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, you use discernment. You look at the inner man. For they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. And our people still can't grasp the confusion of face. How some of our people look like these other nations. How can that be? I mean, come on, man. Let me see. I really want to um, get a scripture in the Apocrypha. But I'm trying to think of the one that's found in the Old Testament. I can't remember where it's at. Um, is it Micah? Might be Amos. No, that's not the one. Let me see if I can type it in. About the uh, confusion of face. Okay, this thing wants to act difficult. Um. This is what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to find that scripture and then I'm going to come right back. 
All right, so I found the scriptures, Daniels uh, 9 and 7. O Lord, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us confusion of faces. Okay, so when you go into that word confusion, it goes into the word, I think the word there is Bosheth. It just means it's, it's a shameful thing to look like these other nations. Okay, now if you read that verbatim, it could also apply because it's confusing if you don't understand that the seed is determined by the line of your father. So if you see one of your people who look like another nation, you'll confuse them as another nation. Okay? But really going into that word confusion, it just means shame. It's a shameful thing to look like these other nations. All right? O Lord, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us confusion of faces as at this day. So our people may look like the other nations, but they're still our people. Just as much as we are the Israelites. It doesn't make you any less of an Israelite because you look like another nation. To the men of Judah, and I just showed you examples of Israelites from the southern kingdom who look like uh, Edomites, man. That's, that's, that's one of the best examples you can do. Okay? To the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. So all of our people. Okay? Within all the tribes, you can find that, uh, the confusion of face. Right now, you look at most of the northern kingdom, a lot of them have confusion of face. A lot of the northern kingdom, they may have straight hair. They may have lighter skin complexion. Okay? But they're still Israelites. And unto all Israel that are near and that are far off through all the countries where the thou has driven them because of their trespass that they have trespassed against thee. Okay? Now, going into Baruch 1, it also goes into the confusion of face, but I don't have my apocrypha pulled up. Okay, so Numbers chapter 1 and verse 2. Take ye the sum of all the congregation of the children of Israel after their families. Okay, so based off of your people, your tribe, whatever nation you come from, is determined by what? Okay, let's go into it. After their families, by the house of their fathers, with the number of their names, every male by their poles. Okay? So, every man determines the nationality of their children. Because the Heavenly Father told you how he would make man head over woman. And the uh, reason being is because... Uh, well, man determines the nation. Man holds the nation. All right? Let's jump down to 18. It basically says the same thing. And they assembled, which basically they, they gathered, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees. Okay? So... Your, how can I put it? When you come into this to this world, when you're birthed into this world, who you are has been determined already, based off of who your father is, what his line goes back to, not how you look. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. According to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their poles. Okay? So, a nation is determined by who their father is. Not based off how they look. It's simple to understand, you know. It's, it's not complicated, but we live in a complicated world where people love complicated things. If the answer is complicated, that must be the answer. If the, amp if, if the answer is simple and straight to the point, that can't be true. All right. But this is uh, hopefully edifying to the elect out there. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wa Rakakodash. Shalom.